Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with the clear and concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius. Um, some of you are living it up. You're living your best life. Um, you're the beauty queen. You're traveling. You're shining. Your shining light is, is bright. Um, you're winning. This card talks about winning. It literally says winning. Um, you're beautiful. Of course, people see you. You could be on stage. Um... You could be in the limelight. You could, you know, have a lot of followers on social media. Um, there's a lot of talk around you, lots of drama around you. I don't think you're involved in it, but you definitely are the talk of the town. You are traveling. You could meet someone traveling. Um, this talks about um, a travel romance or romance while traveling. This also talks about someone who travels for work. Maybe does import, export stuff. I don't know, they carry something around. You could be dealing with someone who does that or someone who gets around also, says this card. Um, you could be dealing with someone like that. Someone who is cool, calm, collected, detached, gives good advice, is wise, has a lot of life experience. He could be the loner, the lone wolf. He could not want to be in a relationship. Not a traditional one. This person could travel for work. It could be little to no communication between you and this person. Something happened here. Something fell apart. Um... You decided to retire this connection and um, do your healing work from this situation. And um, you could be moving, physical moving, um, or just moving on from an old, stuck, stagnant situation. Aquarius, definitely living your best life. You have another card that talks of travel with windfall it talks of good luck money coming into you unexpected increase in your finances um it says uh welcome the new this card also talks about travel new exciting adventure new relationship You also have another card that talks about money, support. This would be, this sometimes talks about child support, alimony, money that is owed to you. Maybe there's like a third party involved there with this money. It could be um, legal matters also with support. It says allow yourself to be supported because someone is going to surprise you with this true gem here of a gift. Um, the, expect the unexpected here. It can even just go as far as it's talking about an engagement ring. Because they definitely want to um, date you, court you. This is a businessman. He, you know, is willing to his career. He does well for himself. But there's also an element of control. This person could want to control you, the dynamic of the relationship. And uh, maybe that's why there's little to no communication with this person. Is thinking about you and they're thinking about the sex with you all day they do is dream, dream about sex with you all day I dream about sex about sex with you right this is what they're saying this is a person where it's a, you just don't feel like you can trust what they say because this is a, someone who likes hearing themselves talk they're a big talker And they're slow to action. This is someone, especially the Ice King, he's saying 
I didn't know I would fall this deep in love with you. Like, this is somebody who's never experienced this. This is not what they were looking for. This is not what they thought would happen. It doesn't happen to them. But then there's also an energy where somebody's saying, you have too many kids for me. Sorry. Um, that could be you saying this to that person or vice versa. You could expect a message from someone, uh, from this person. It'll be good news, a good news message. It's going to come in written form. You also could surprisingly run into this person with room and message showing up. This talks about, you know, being about the town, maybe even running errands and you run into this person. And I think they're going to understand that you're over the relationship. The death card is coming out. It's a, This card talks about it being a no-go. The end of a relationship. The end of a connection. It's a no. The door is shut. It's locked. And it, and it specifically talks about a relationship. Someone is a, definitely living their best life here. And somebody is green with envy jealous sending hateful vibes your way maybe even doing some magic they want what you have they could even be trying to do like some beauty type of magic spell on you i think in this case with this person there's a sense of melancholy You've gone through the ups and downs, the highs and lows of, of emotions with this. You're kind of in a place of being neutral or numb or okay with it. You've been super emotional, maybe even mad or sad to go into or feeling nothing and numbing. And now maybe you're just in a middle space where it's just like, is you're just okay. It's okay. And, and you're, once again, another card of money. Money is coming into you. Money owed. Um, money due to you. Get a focus. Okay, money. Um, yeah. Aquarius. I mean, so many money cards from support, money. Of course, we had... Um, Windfall show up if I can find the card, right? Uh, yeah, we had windfall show up. This just looks good. I think you've kind of moved on and you're just living your life and you're not concerned, but you don't see something coming, or you don't see somebody coming, but they are. If there's a third party. In your situation they're jealous of you they're jealous of where you stand with this person there's somebody contemplating studying you or how to get your forgiveness what they can do to be better because somebody definitely wants to marry you uh, with the wedding card wedding card and um, they're in great despair right now because they don't have you. Because um, there's little to no communication. Um, possibly because there was a third party, someone was too concerned with other people, social events, another woman. They were concerned with keeping the status quo, not changing not giving your uh, relationship a real chance with the um, child card. They were okay with keeping it stuck and stagnant with the house card. But I think on this journey, they've realized something about themselves and it's that um, they didn't think they would fall so deep in love with you. Because this was or this is the playboy, the player, the soldier. He's dedicated to himself, his job, his duty. And he didn't expect to fall so deeply in love with you.
So it looks like this player wants to come back around, have a new start. This could be a past love, and that's why so much passion is here. But the relationship is open. This is why you guys could have broken up. Uh, there's another woman here, and this person went off to have fun times with this other woman. This was someone who did keep the relationship open, even if they didn't tell you. Um, they could have had several someones here. They caused so many obstacles and blockage in your relationship that you guys are going to have to work so much harder to actually bring this together. They also could be dealing with someone at work, or when they say they're at work, they are driving around or going to this other person's house. This person could be communicating with you that they have to stay with their family. They think you have a lot of options, and maybe you do, but they definitely want a union with you. Maybe with children. But it looks like you've gone your own way, and you've become um, the ice queen here. Um, you don't want any connection to this person because you don't trust them. The Ice Queen has been through so much. She has a lot of life experience. Uh, she's wise. She's assertive. She's confident. She does not tolerate things that are not conducive to the outcomes that she's looking for. This person is a soulmate, but um, what you do with them is primarily on you. This person can be confused if they like men or women or both. They could be bisexual, whether they have actually engaged in sex with the same sex or not. Maybe they think about it. This person is saying they're going to make it up to you. And there's somebody here who says they financially support you, so they're going to do whatever they want to do. And... Um, we have some advice from the cards that says you should buy that item, you know, some self care because it looks like you have the money, and there definitely is um a number of people stalking your social media, especially this person and maybe the jealous lady. Someone is begging you to stay with them. They're saying that you are the only person who puts up with them. You could be shifting your career focus, going into something new. You could be learning about this career at this time. This new job is going to bring you money, more money. Someone is saying, I dream of a life with you. But then on the, the other hand, they also say that um, I'm bad and you're good and only one of us will win in the end. So it's like they're not interested in changing or shifting. They know that they're not good for you, um, that you guys are polar opposite. So somebody's gonna dominate the other person. And I think, again, Aquarius, you're at a place where you're just like, not today. Come with something new and something better. You know, you aren't engaging with this person because you know that for some of you, your person has had no change, no shift in their energy. Again, this person is saying, I'm bad for you, and I know it. Hell, you know it. You know, um, the cards also want you to protect yourself. Burn your candles and wear your crystals. Go to my website. Get the black candles. Get the white candles, the purple candles. Definitely the black candles for protection. Because there is somebody here who could be sending you that evil energy, that evil eye, hateful energy. Um, so uh, be aware of that and religious differences separate you guys like this person just you guys don't have the same foundation the same values or morals this person feels like or maybe this is how you feel we need to have a long talk maybe a heart to heart they want to tell you something 
Um, this person, again, they think that you have a lot of options. They feel like you're a cheater. You could be, I don't know. Um, so they said, why not get back together? We both are cheaters. You could be dealing with the dynamic of an older man, younger woman. This person, I'm going to leave you with this. Um, maybe this will give you some food for thought. Um, they're saying, I know you're a good catch, but do you know how many times I've messed up a good thing? So this person, when, when they say that they're bad, believe them. Like, this is who they are. This could be a person who has no spiritual bone in their body. They could have even gone as far as to kind of give themselves over to the dark side. You know, whatever that means. Um, they could do something very questionable for work or to earn income. They could be in question, involved in question, questionable activities, whether they are sexual in nature or whatever. I don't know. But the cards want you to protect yourself, understand that something's going on with this person. And it looks like a lot of you are ignoring this person. And the only way that they're going to talk to you or see you is because they could be manifesting um, this surprise um, meeting. Like, you know, you see them all of a sudden out somewhere. So Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope that it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading, just like this one an oracle reading at the website level, or you can text a question or two to the number below, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you Aquarius, many blessings to you, take care.